Once again, welcome back with most vital problems of your class 10 mathematics, uh, which I am going to discuss for you based on the concept of arithmetic progression. Okay. In this class, I am going to discuss some of the important and vital questions from your NCT book, which mostly used to come in your CBSE board exam. I hope it will help you and guide you in solving your doubts. Also, an important assignment has been given to you at the end of the class and also important questions for you and also you will try for that. Look at the problem here. Exercise 5.3 class 10 mathematics question number 4 and said book. How many terms of AP 9, 17, 25 must be taken to give a sum of 636? Here is the solution for you. Given that 9, 17, 25 is an arithmetic progression. Here the first term of the AP is 9. The common difference of the AP D is equal to A2 minus A1 which is 17 minus 9 which is 8. Let the sum of n terms of the given AP which is 636. So using the formula SN is equal to sum of n terms of the AP we know Sn is equal to n by 2 whole into 2a plus n minus 1 whole into d is equal to 636. Okay. Now, in place of a, you write 9. In place of d, you write 8. We get n by 2 whole into 2 multiplied 9 plus n minus 1 whole into 8 is equal to 636. Thus, we get n by 2 whole into 9 to the 18 plus n minus 1 whole into 8 is equal to 636. Here n by 2 which is 2 in the denominator in the left hand side will be transposed to the right hand side it will be 636 multiplied by 2. Thus we get n whole into 18 plus n minus 1 whole into 8 is equal to 636 into 2. Thus n whole into 18 plus 8 multiplied n is 8n minus 8 1 8 is equal to 636 multiplied by 2. Thus we get n whole into 18 plus 18 minus 8 which is 10 which is equal to 636 into 2. Here we have to take the common factor from 8 and 10. After taking the common factor it will be n into 2 whole into 4n plus 5 which is equal to 636 multiplied by 2. Here 2 and 2 on the both side will be cancelled. After cancellation we shall get n whole into 4n plus 5 which is equal to 636. Thus, 4n multiplied 4n is 4n square plus 5 into n is 5n is equal to 636. Thus, 4n square plus 5n is equal to 636. 4n square plus 5n minus 636 is equal to 0. Thus, we get, get a quadratic equation in the variable and we have to solve it by middle term splitting methods which is 4n square plus 53n minus 48n minus 636 is equal to 0. After taking the common factor n from both sides, from the first two terms, we shall get n whole into 4n plus 53. Similarly, minus 12 will be taken as a common factor from the last two terms, we shall get minus 12 whole into 4n plus 53, which is equal to 0. Thus, you get n whole into 4n plus 53 minus 12 whole into 4n plus 53 is equal to 0. You can write 4n plus 53 whole into n minus 12 is equal to 0. Thus, 4n plus 53 is equal to 0 or n minus 12 is equal to 0. Hence, we get that the 4n plus 53 is equal to 0 or n minus 12 is equal to 0. Then 4n is equal to minus 53 and n is equal to minus 53 by 4 which is rejected being the number of terms the AP cannot be negative and is always a counting number. Or hence n minus 12 is equal to 0 or n is equal to 12 which is a natural number. Thus, we shall get that here we got that. The sum of 12 terms of the given AP is 636. This is one of the important, vital and fundamental uh, problem for you which mostly uh, used to come in your CBC board exam. I hope you will follow the class. Here is another problem, important problem I am going to discuss. Question number 9, exercise 5.3 of class 10 mathematics. Look at this question. Another important question for you. If the sum of first n terms of an AP is 49, 
and that of 17 terms is 289 find the sum of first 10 terms here is the solution given that the sum of the first 7 terms of the AP is 17 A7 is its 49 A7 is 49 using the formula of sum of n terms of the AP which is n by 2 whole into a plus n minus 1 whole into a is equal to 49 here in place of n we can write 7 so 7 by 2 whole into a plus 7 minus 1 whole into b is equal to 49 the 7 by 2 whole into a plus 7 minus 1 60 is equal to 49 here you can bring the common factor 2 from here and to here after updating the common factor you see and uh, 7 by 2 whole into 7 by 2 into 2 whole into a plus 3 is equal to 49 here 2 2 can be cancelled after cancellation we shall get 7 whole into a plus 3 is equal to 49 and a plus 3 is equal to 49 upon 7 which is 7 thus we get a plus 3 is equal to 7 similarly again given that the sum of 17 terms of the AP s 17 is equal to 289 thus n by 2 whole into a plus n minus 1 whole into d which is 289 in place of n we have to write the 17 the 17 by 2 whole into a plus 17 minus 1 whole into d is equal to 289 the 17 by 2 2 a plus 17 minus 1 is 16 d 17 minus 1 16 d is equal to 289 here you can bring the common factor 2 from here and here so after taking the common factor it will be 17 by 2 into 2 whole into a plus a d is equal to 289 here we can cancel Okay, after cancellation, here 2 will be cancelled, and after cancellation, the will be cancelled. Uh, after cancellation, we shall get 17 whole into a plus a d is equal to 289, right? And a plus a d is equal to 289 upon 17, which is 17. Thus, we get a plus a d is equal to 17. Thus, we get equation 1, a plus 3 d is equal to 7, equation 2, a plus a d is equal to 17. Subtracting equation 1 and 2, and here plus a minus a will be cancelled. Here plus a minus will be cancelled. And after cancellation, we shall get 3d minus a d, which is minus 5d. 7 minus 17, which is minus 10. Thus minus 5d is equal to minus 10. Since variable minus 5d carrying a negative sign, so we have to make it positive. Thus minus 5d will be plus 5d, then minus 10 will be plus 10. Thus 5d is equal to 10 and d is equal to 10 by 5, which is 2. Thus the common difference of the AP d is equal to 2. By putting the value of d in the equation 1, we shall get that a plus 3 d is equal to 7. So, a plus 3 into 2 is equal to 7, a plus 6 is equal to 7, and a is equal to 7 minus 6, which is 1. Thus, a is equal to 1, first term of the arithmetic equation is 1. So, as for the equation, we have to find out the sum of n terms of the AP, which is Sn is equal to n by 2 whole into 2 into 1 plus n minus 1 into 2, because a is equal to 1, d is equal to 2. Thus, we get n by 2 whole into 2 plus 2 1 the 2 plus 2 n minus 2. Here again, we can cancel also plus 2 n minus we can cancel. After cancellation, we shall get n by 2 whole into 2 n. Here, denominator 2 and 2 can be cancelled. So, after cancellation, we shall get again n to n which is n square. Thus, we get s n is to n square. Thus, hence uh, the sum of n terms of the required AP is n square. This is what we have to find out. This is another interesting, important and vital and fundamental question based on the application of arithmetic equation. I hope you will follow it and guide it. Here is the assignment for you. Look at the assignment. Here is also an important question. What problem? Application problem based on the concept of arithmetic progression. Try for the assignment. Thank you for interest and eagerness toward the class.